Earth's orbit is getting crowded, fast. As of today, more than 11,700 active satellites are circling our planet. These satellites support a vast range of modern life, from global communication and weather forecasting, to GPS navigation, military operations, and scientific research. But the sheer number of objects now in orbit is raising serious concerns among space experts. Projections indicate that this number could surge to as many as 100,000 satellites within the next decade. Much of this anticipated growth is driven by private companies deploying vast satellite constellations to deliver broadband internet globally. While the technology is impressive, the consequences of this rapid expansion are becoming harder to ignore. The risk of space collisions is increasing. Every satellite added to orbit contributes to the growing threat of space debris. Even a small piece of debris, traveling at orbital speeds, can cause catastrophic damage to functioning spacecraft. A collision could spark a chain reaction known as the Kessler Syndrome, where debris from one crash triggers more collisions, potentially rendering entire regions of space unusable for generations. Many of the satellites being launched today occupy Low Earth Orbit, or LEO, a zone up to 2,000 kilometers above Earth. This is prime orbital real estate, especially for communication and Earth observation satellites. But the more congested it becomes, the harder it is to safely operate within it. The risk of interference, malfunction, or outright collision increases with every new launch. Experts are calling for stronger international regulations to manage the growing satellite population. That includes clearer protocols for deorbiting defunct satellites, stricter guidelines for collision avoidance systems, and global cooperation on tracking space objects in real time. Without coordinated action, we risk turning space, a critical domain for science, commerce, and security, into a dangerous scrapyard. In the coming years, how we manage space traffic will be just as important as the technologies we launch. The sky above is no longer infinite. It's shared, strategic, and fragile. And safeguarding it requires global responsibility.